Welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial Episode 52. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create time lapse animations uh, using Kato E. Different from uh, the uh, lens set time lapse animation I uh, show you uh, before, this one is different. Uh, it's you can actually create uh, time lapse animations with custom uh, projection. Uh, also with uh, a scale bar, nose arrow, or something like that. So it's more like a complete uh, map, and you can create the time lapse animation from any image collection. So uh, whatever image collection uh, you have, you can always create a, an animation. Okay, so uh, first of all, you need to go to the gmap.org uh, to download the notebook example. Uh, once you go to the website, then click on notebooks on the left side scroll down to not find number 52 and then you can click the, the download icon uh, to download this one to your computer so i'm going to download to my downloads folder and once it's downloaded you can open it so uh, uh, i'm going to show you in here i already uh, download this one and so next you need to uh, get into the downloads folder and then you can conda activate oh TFVSE. then you can type Jupyter notebook to open it uh, on your browser and you can click maximize and then uh, click to open the notebook so this one uh, is similar to the previous uh, two tutorials uh, episode 50 and also 51 uh, you will need to install the dependency Kato PY or uh, Kato Pi uh, because uh, it might be challenging to install it on some uh, uh, systems, for example, Windows. So, uh, this one is not a required dependency of GMAP. Uh, you basically need to figure out how to install by yourself. You can watch episode 50 to uh, install the package. And once you uh, have the Conda environment created, then you can follow uh, this notebook example and so similarly we're going to import the libraries and uh, by the way so this is a magic command uh, within Jupyter notebook so basically this one takes care of um, importing numpy and matplotlib that we're going to use so uh, run then we're going to create an interactive map first uh, because we are going to create some um, uh, time lapse animation first we need to fi figure out like what the image look like how we want to visualize the image and so uh, once you create the map then we need an image collection uh, in this example i'm going to use a uh, lane set uh, 5 tm5 uh, uh, also uh, using the service reflectance but it can be if, uh, any image collection so also in this case i'm going to use um uh, let me just create first i'm going to use um the location around uh, las vegas uh, but you can customize this to be at any location so all you need to do is to change the longitude and latitude this is a central uh centroid of the image that we're going to really use so we're going to basically filter the entire lens set uh, tm5 image collection and to get uh annual image for uh, the location so from 1984 to 2011 so um but you can change it to other data set or modis or, or sentinel or any data set you want uh, you all need to do is figure out the location and how many images you you want so um and once you have that um let me go to uh, the source code here so we create the uh, the point and then we also create a list then we can use the map function so the map function uh, function is well uh, i think it's the most powerful one uh in the earth engine api so uh if you look at this function here uh what you need to do is to pass in one year so they say we passed in 1984 then it's going to create uh, the uh, start day and end day so january 1st 1984 to 1984 december 31st and then we use these two days to filter the image collection uh, by date and also by the location then we sort by cloud cover so uh, uh and we get the first image so essentially uh, this is getting the best uh, basically cloud free imagery each year 
and if you can figure out that for one year you can do that uh, basically just a loop uh, do that for all the years so it's a very convenient way that you can create an image collection um, for whatever data set uh, you have and once we have the image collection then we can inspect um, the image within this image collection so in this case i'm just going to grab the first image within this image collection so collection doc uh, first you will get the first image and then this is telling uh, us engine how we want to visualize we want to use b4 b3 b2 so this is a uh, first color composite you can change to any band uh, you want for example uh, b3 uh, b2 b1 uh, the natural color and then we're going to load this one to the map so just to show you what this look like and so as you can see this is the location around uh, uh, las vegas so you can see from the, the image in here but we only load the first image but this one uh, has actually 28 images and uh, so you can use this one you can customize whatever way you want so this is first color composite you can also change it to other so you can uh, click the uh, the toolbar icon and you can uh, click this to change the bank combination they say i can change to maybe um uh five four three if you want and you can apply it should be able to change the color uh, so you can see the green color represent uh, vegetation you can change uh, any combination you want you can also change maybe the opacity uh, by the way so this is just for the visualization on on this map in here uh if you want to um uh download the images you need to set the parameters in here so uh, what you are doing uh, adjusting the parameters in here does not affect uh the image you want to download so uh because the image you want to download the uh, parameters come from here okay so once we have the image and you can see this is a pretty nice image uh cloud free and uh, next let's see how we're going to design the map so this one is an interactive map um, but uh, if you want to download the map it becomes a static if you want to download the map then we want to probably just uh, uh, have more uh, elements on the map so for example a uh, north arrow or a uh, scale bar and 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 title or something like that so how can we actually design the map uh, first let me just execute uh, let's see the results first and then i'm going to go through the source code to explain one by one so this is the output of the image that just one single image from 1984 right so uh, it's the same one we using here and as you can see from the uh, the map in here we only choose a small region so let's go back to here and let me drop a marker on the map okay so assuming that this is the central location of uh, las vegas and we only want to select a certain reason that we want to create a map um, we don't need the entire lens scene because our focus is the urban area so maybe something like this and then you can draw a rectangle uh, just to show you like what's the why the map looks like this okay so let's go back to the source code you can see here we have two parameters that you can customize so the w uh, represent uh, width and this is height so 0.4 means a uh, 0.4 degree okay and 0.3 degree like so this is 0.4 degree longitude and 0.3 degree latitude assuming this is the central location so to the, the, the left and to the right right so the width if you might the location minus uh, 0.4 uh, it will be somewhere in here and then plus 0.4 it will be here and this is the latitude so essentially this is the reason uh, parameter the lower left corner so the left side uh, is longitude uh, latitude and upper right corner uh longitude and latitude so it, the point will be here this point okay if you see my mouse uh, lower left corner upper right corner so this is the one that we use to define the region we want again you can change this one to a, a larger number or a smaller a smaller number depends on how big you want the region to be once we specify the region then we can create a map uh the figure so this one is using the map probably uh, library and this is the size so 10 inches and uh, 8 inches this is the width and this is the height of the, the figure and this line basically create an empty figure an empty paper then we can plot the map uh, to this figure so all we need to do is to call the uh, cartoe um, 
uh, module and then use the get map so uh, get map uh, we all this one we only pro just for first image and then we specify the region so this is the earth engine object and this one specify the uh, the bounding box and how we want to visualize the, Im uh, visualize the image so this one come from here this one is very important that uh, you need to set uh, the visualization parameters in here how you want to see the image once we have this then we create the, the map and then we add the uh, grid lines so if you scroll down to here you will see the green line uh, like uh, it might be difficult for you to see but if you see this one in here the uh, horizontal and vertical lines um, in gray color so this one add the grid lines uh, you can set the interval 0.2 uh, degree and 0.2 degree if you can see from the label in here 105.4 uh, and then 0.2 right 0 0.0 and 0.8 so this is 0 to degree uh, interval and similarly for the latitude also 0.2 degree um, latitude uh, interval let me un unhide this one after we add the get the map uh, grid line then we can add a uh, nose arrow and uh, uh, scale bar so for nose arrow uh, let's see this one again this is the one that we add uh, you can change the the text you can change the color you can change the width the length you can customize those in here so this is going to be passing as a parameter by the way make sure you have two star signs uh, if you just put this one it won't work so this one basically is the uh, dictionary and then unwrap the dictionary so if you have put two uh, put star, uh, two uh, stars the end x y so the x y is very important uh, so point one and point three what does this mean is that the point one is the uh, horizontal and the point three is the vertical if you see the point one that means okay the total width is like 100 percent so point one is 10 percent so if you see this one the width 100 percent so the location the x is like 10 percent of the width also the height if you see from this one here uh, this is the point is going to be used uh, point three means uh, almost one third of 30 percent of the width so from the lower left corner everything is using the lower left corner as the origin and so from the x 10 percent and this is here uh, 30 percent so if you want to change the location of the um the north arrow you can you can you can change the number in here so let's say i can change it to maybe point point nine oh i can change this one to point nine that means right now we are moving the nose arrow to the right okay point nine maybe roughly somewhere in here and i can also put this one to maybe if you want to put at the upper right corner so similarly i can also put the other one also point nine and let's see what happened you can also change the color so if you want you can change the color maybe to um they say black or it can be any hex color code uh, it doesn't have to be black uh, you can have ff like zero 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 okay so once we customize you should be able to get the map okay so this is what it looks like so now it's uh, 90 percent to the x and, and 90 also 90 percent vertically change to uh, black color anyway this is like uh, very flexible so you can uh, do whatever you want there to customize lastly we want to add a scale bar also to the map and this is more in here it's not as fancy as those um, traditional GS uh, software, but um, at least give you some indication um, how uh, the uh, the distance uh, for each pixel represent uh, the distance. Similarly, you can change the length. So the length ten means uh, uh, ten units. So you need to define the unit. And here we use a uh, kilometer, but you can change it to mile or uh, meter or whatever unit you want and then so the length 10 basically means 10 kilometer so we want this line to be 10 kilometer also the location like x y again this one is using the center so the center is like horizontal uh, center so the cursor of my uh, location of my cursor here is 10 percent on the horizontal uh, axis and also five percent on the vertical axis so you can see right now this is x and y so you can change this one if you want to move maybe to the right or to the left so for example i can change it maybe to 
um, 0.8 and then you can customize you can change the color you can change the uh, also the location right now we move this one to the right um, you can customize location depends on the image that you have uh, so try not to block uh, the focus of your map okay so uh, once you are satisfied with the map then we can all we need to do is just to uh, create the uh, time-lapse anim animation for your entire image collection and i'm just going to run this one uh, and you will see uh, what's going to happen so if i change this one it's going to create a folder called time-lapse under my current uh, working directory and so it's going to be downloading the images one by one as i mentioned earlier we have a total of 28 images right and it's going to download basically one by one of this and then at the end it's going to create an animation a gif animation using all the time lapse um, images that we have so by the way so whatever we change in here um it will also at the end it will be uh, apply um to the uh, animation within the animation so now you will see in here right uh, nose arrow and also the scale bar also the title so the title is automatic it's going to use the uh, the date so if you have a date within your um, collection it's going to be um, use the date of each image also here 28 images each one is using the image id so each image has a unique id within the earth engine data catalog and by default it's just going to use the uh, image id if you can see from here 1984 like may 15 1985 may 18 um the date and the month might not be consistent because we actually do the sorting earlier when we create the created the image collection so we only use the cloud cover and choose the base uh cloud free image image of each year but uh, you can customize to whatever image collection you have and then um to use this way to create uh, the animation okay so now you can see that uh, we have downloaded all the images uh 28 and a, G a gf animation and also mp4 uh, has been created this is the parameter you can customize okay also the uh, frames per second if you see from this one here fps this is how you can control the animation how fast you want the animation to be so frames per second that means um if it is five that means you have five images per second so uh, we have 28 images so this with the 28 images divided by five that means your animation is going to last five to six seconds right so you can change this this one if you want the animation to be slower you can change it to a smaller number if you want the animation to be faster then you change this one to a larger number so the larger are uh, the faster also you can also customize these uh, things in here now let's look at the final product uh, on the right here shows you the 28 images uh, you can open each individually if you want right so this is one the first image then you can use your arrow key on your keyboard to uh, step through right so and to see the urban uh, growth this is where we can have this animation so if you open the uh the gf animation uh, this is nicely you can see that uh, how we actually automate the process to download all the images and then to create an animation somewhere in the middle you might see some like uh artifacts uh, this because of the original uh, data so uh depends on the location you might not see exactly what i'm what the issues that i'm having here also the resolution is not as high um you can see some uh, pixelated uh, effects if you want a really high resolution uh, imagery you can change this parameter in here the dpi so for example you can change to maybe uh 300 so in that way the quality of the image will be much larger but um you are going to get a much larger file so if i maximize you will see here the animation at the end it's 11.2 uh, megabyte so if you have a higher resolution a uh, higher dpi yeah uh, your image will end up uh, be much larger also for the png so they're almost like one megabyte for each year you can also open the uh, mp4 okay so this is the mp4 
the same uh, as the uh, uh, GF animation. So, okay, I think that's all for this um, tutorial. And uh, you're welcome to customize location uh, using diff different uh, image collection uh, for different area, different reason. Uh, you can also try out using uh, different um, projection. So here we only use the default uh, projection, but you can take a look at my uh, tutorial episode 51. Uh, show you how to actually do. You can customize the projection uh, if you want. Okay, hope you are enjoying this video. If you do, uh, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in my next uh, video. Take care. Bye bye.